And today, it's a top 25 showdown between two of the best in the ACC as the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame play host to the Duke Blue Devils right here in South Bend. And because of players like Maddie Howe, Duke's goaltender, Sophia LaRose, is going to have her hands full. Yeah, LaRose and the unit has done a fantastic job this year on limiting the opponents in goals, but going to be tested today with Notre Dame's offense. Meanwhile, one of the most veteran players for this Notre Dame team is in net for them, Bridget Dean. She's gotten better with each game this season. And she's really stepping up lately. You can tell she has an eye for the ball and seeing it well, and then also putting herself in position to make some big saves. So that's something for the Fighting Irish to make sure they maintain today. Maddie Jenner, the senior number 14 in black and blue for the Blue Devils. Their draw specialist as the Blue Devils drive in close, put a shot on net. Nice feed in front, but LaRose comes out of her net and takes it away for the Blue Devils. You know, Grant, before this game, I was looking at the stats for Duke overall. And LaRose is up there in ground balls and leading the team. And now I see why. There's a big reason that she's not just holding onto the ball near the net, but she'll go out and fight for those GBs just like she did there. Now Howe, one-on-one -on -one with her defender. Drives through the middle. Finds an opening. Fires and is saved by LaRose. For the sophomore, Katie Keller. Keller fires, and it's saved by Dean. Coming up, but at this rate, it looks like Notre Dame will run the rest of the time out on that. Mary Kelly Doherty, the feed in front, and it's saved by LaRose. Shoma got free for Notre Dame, but LaRose denied her on the doorstep. Olivia Carner probing the left alley, firing, and she's denied by Dean. Lost a tough one with Virginia Tech, so coming back with getting those two wins puts you in a nice position here today to play well and to try to win. Maddie Howe spinning. Shooting and being stopped by LaRose. Pitcher in baseball as each batter goes up. Kalen Field sends it to Jackie Wolak. Wolak fires a shot and LaRose is all over it. Blue Devils back the other way. Abby Landry with a step on her defender. Landry is denied on the doorstep by Dean. See it being wide open in the heart of the defense. So she knew getting around her defender could put her in a position to score. Moat's shot bounced behind the net. Notre Dame was. It could slow down this Duke offense. Now Jenner is open in front of the net, and she's denied by Dean. And it was from that same spot, too. So we'll see where she decides to shoot this time around if she goes low again. Ahern drives in, fires, and gets denied by LaRose. Ahern went high this time around, and LaRose was there to answer the test. And now, the how quick was that from save to Notre Dame front of the net? The Blue Devils in a blink of an eye. And now Catriona Barry going for the hat trick. And she's unable to convert thanks to Bridget Dean. The final offensive possession for Duke. But they want to go fast. And DeBellis' shot goes wide. Boy, DeBellis was wide. Goalie matchup has been great thus far as well. Sophia LaRose in net for Duke with six saves. Bridget Dean for Notre Dame with seven compared to seven goals allowed. Coming down 
in flurries here in South Bend. And Olivia Corner is coming down the right alley. Her shot goes wide. Probing the left side. Sending behind for Maddie Howell. LaRose is out of the net. Moat, the feed in front intended for field. And LaRose scoops up the ground ball. Notre Dame working around. Here's Jackie Wolak. Over to Mary Kelly Doherty. Nice feed inside intended for Choma. And another deflection leads to Sophia LaRose scooping up a ground ball. And LaRose is very active around the net as well. Not afraid to get outside of the crease and secure a loose ball. Been scorching this season for the Blue Devils. She scored multiple goals in every game but one this season. Speed and under 20 to play in this third quarter. Looking for Choma. And her pass bounced right into the stick of Sophia LaRose, who is going to hold as the final seconds tick off of this third quarter. 40. Moat gets past two defenders, lets it fly. It was stopped initially by LaRose. And possession will stay with the Blue Devils. Not only that, but having opportunities like this. Pressuring the Duke defense, getting a free position. Seeing if she can capitalize. Another free position chance for Madison Moat. Moat goes for goal. Trying to go over the top, a lot of contact. A flag was thrown, whistle blown. And Notre Dame's offensive unit continuing to put the pressure, especially in the center of the field against Duke. Lolak goes for goal. It's saved, but it stays with Notre Dame. And now here's Madison Ahern. For Choma, Choma shot, stopped by LaRose. And now LaRose, the pass to midfield to Keller, who was waiting for it. And LaRose has been on the money all game long with those deep passes. Notre Dame fighting Irish. First win on the road here in South Bend at Notre Dame, to be specific, as the final seconds tick off the clock. The Blue Devils are victorious in South Bend. And Brian, they looked excellent from the opening whistle to the final buzzer. And the game is exactly what we would have thought, where it was close, hard fought on both sides. But in the end, Duke shows why their offense is prolific, and they get the W. The Blue Devils move to 11-1. and